Katie, hello. Hey there. Katie is a NASA former astronaut. Uh, she's been on two space shuttle missions and spent almost six months in 2011 aboard the International Space Station in space. So you can think of it as the ultimate quarantine experience. As most of us complete our second month in isolation here on Earth, Katie, I cannot think of anyone better place to launch our experience today. We'll be showing some photos of your experience as we go. Um, tell us, what are some learnings from those five, six months in space that you think would be helpful for us during lockdown? Well, I, the biggest one is, is probably that I think the sense of mission is really what can carry you through. It's in a way so much easier for us when, when we're in space because first of all, we look around and there's five other people in me and it's really, it's just, it's clear in a sort of visceral way that if you don't get the job done or you don't enable one of your teammates to get the job done or support them, then it's not going to happen. And, and the mission itself is just really, really clear to all of us because you're up there, you have these experiments to do. And, and it's, and, and it, I just remember that, you know, every single day, you know, looking at the schedule and the timeline, I wouldn't just feel like if I could only get one more thing done, one more thing that I was you know, supposed to or expected to, it would make a difference because we're doing experiments up there that can't be done here on the earth. And food, learning how to make sure we could be healthy up there. Um, but at the same time, those lessons come straight back down to earth. So I felt so, you know, driven by the mission. First of all, I, it's also, it's not a terrible place. It's like a wonderful place up there. And if I could have stayed another six months, I would have stayed in a minute. And, and we actually had that situation come up as a theoretical question. And I, you know, it's just, you. I, I just felt like, you know, I really wanted to get that work done. And so during these times of COVID-19 and even thinking of today for Solve, I mean, you have a day together. It's not very long. And, and I know there'll be more work after that, and this is to generate that work, but these are important moments today. And, and I think just realizing that this is your time to do this and focusing in, it's really, I think it's helpful to think about what the mission is. And even during COVID-19, I mean, the mission can be as, you know, ordinary, but supremely important as just keeping yourselves and your families safe. And, and even though it's not, it's hard to stay inside, that might just be what you have to do. So anchoring ourselves in the mission and that sense of everything that needs to get done. Um, if I probably the biggest uh, difference is that uh, you wish to stay six more months in space. Um, <laughs> if, if, and if I were to sum up some of the similarities, it's uh, definitely missing those you love, being stuck with your roommates, um, maybe a distorted sense of time and hair and clothes seem to not matter as much. And you started talking about some of the parallels that can be drawn also between your experience and, and the work of the SOLVE community. I'd love to hear a bit more about that. So I, I think that um, when we're, you know, when we're up in space, I mean, you'll see some pictures flashing by and you probably see various pictures of my crew. And, and to me, I look at those pictures and it makes it really clear to me that we're all like really different people. And, you know, we don't get to pick our team in, in that business about picking optimal people who will have a nice time working together or good for each other. You know, it's, there's no room for that in the mission, actually. And it's the same for Solve in that, the, you know, the mission is bigger than whether you wish the team was different. And I can say that, and it's easy to say, but in reality, you know, it's hard to do. And it's something I work at, you know, literally every day, whether the team is my family or, or a solve team or a solve team you're about to make, you know, and where, you know, you want to pick people, great people for the team and you want to be picked too. And, and I can just maybe just urge all of you to try to really think, especially in these times of Zoom and seeing people, you know, over a screen, we, you don't know very much about them. Even if you could see them right in person, there's, you know, try to connect in as many different ways as you can. And, and to understand what's important to them or who they are. They might be quiet. I mean, sometimes on the team, your job is to be brave enough to say who you are. And all of you need to do that today. And then your job is also to be open to when people show you who they are or when you realize that they can't and you help them. 
you know, it's, it's all about that mission. I love it. And in fact, you, you, you know, you, you're telling us about your experience and then how it relates to solve. I, I want to quote back to you something that you, you told me, which is, which really stayed with me. Um, Earth is a spaceship and we are the crew. Everything everyone does matters in this moment. Uh, for me, it really, you know, puts this moment into perspective. And so let's talk about perspective. When you are in space, you see the whole world from a new and very unique angle. What did you come to realize about the way we interact and collaborate? I think all of us are changed in different ways by that view. I'm kind of a connecting person. I, I hear that someone is working on this and someone's working on this and I'm like, oh, they need to meet each other. And, and I think that role translated to space and that when I looked at the earth, I mean, to me, it's so clear. I mean, all of us are from there, right? Every, everyone except the six of us is down there. And if, if I, I just thought, you know, how could people think it's important whether you come from this specific place on that on that sphere or this specific place? We're all one crew, and I and I just thought if only people could find each other, we could solve everything. I really thought that, and it's been very interesting to me during these COVID nineteen times that despite the fact that there's so much tragedy, that it, it's happening. People who don't know each other, who used to compete, who never even thought of reaching out to each other's countries are working together and they're getting things done that they can't alone because the mission is so big. So I just think that perspective is important and maybe for people today to just realize that the help you need is either right within reach or it's not. And either way, there's sort of a chain to go and find that help. You just have to be open to finding the chains between people, the links. And anytime I'm annoyed with my face mask, I'm going to think, remember your space suit. <laughs> you know, I think about that, Hala, in that, I mean, I did the washing of hands and, you know, more times than you want to, but even, you know, this idea of, you know, just tying your mask on. I mean, in the spacesuit business, we have a saying that slow is fast where you know you just you'd go and then your hair's in the way or it's slipping down or is it really so important and and you know for us it's our life and 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 actually i used to practice i mean i, I live in massachusetts in the winter right and your gloves and you know how to do things with gloves on and i would go you know this is good practice and just realize you know that this this stuff is hard <laughs> so and it's um it's hard for astronauts too and just you it gets better with practice, but it never gets as easy as not having to wear it, but we have to wear it. And it's for all of us. It's a, I think you have a unique ability to connect the small things to the big picture and bring it back to the mission, which we all um, so need right now. And, um, uh, you know, this is also what the Solve community is about. So thank you for, for, for that. You know, when I think of the International Space Station, what, the other thing that is remarkable about it is that it is a, a feat of cooperation, of trust and diplomacy, 16 countries coming together. And I have a sense that today is another litmus test of whether global cooperation will help us win the war against this virus, a, a war that, as Bill Gates said, for the first time in human history, we're all on the same side of. Um, I, I hope those in charge can zoom out like you did when you were, uh, you know, out in space and to see the picture that uh, really matters. And uh, I know that people in the soft community definitely do that. I'm wondering if you have any last words of advice for our audience during this uncertain time. Well, that was, I mean, I, I love the way you put that, uh, uh, Hala. It's, um, it's, it's, an in, it's a time when we have to acknowledge that it's hard. I mean, these things are hard. Everything from the small picture of staying in your house with your family, all needing your own space, maybe not quite having it, whatever kind of way you define, you know, that space. Um, acknowledge that that's hard. It's challenging. I mean, for for living on the space station, we we actually get to practice that by our training going all around the world. And we practice ways of not on purpose, but just because we want to stay in touch with our families. You know, my family and I knew sort of how to find each other, how to find each other in a way that kind of meant something to us, even though we couldn't be physically together. But these things really are, they're, they're hard and give yourself a break because 
we're all functioning in a way that is, you know, that is more difficult. So I say, you know, give yourself um, that kind of a, a break and also realize that this situation is very human. You know, I mean, there's a threat. It's a big threat. And the first thing that's going to happen is a human reaction, you know, to try to protect, but also, you know, just, you know, I think we all kind of clench in and, and, and now that we're sort of through, you know, then we, we branch out because we have to, because we need each other. And we realize that the solutions are bigger and better together. But then there's this time when things are, beginning to people talk about opening places up, you know, we talk about maybe not feeling quite so urgent and yet people are still dying, right? And I think that we have to remember that closing in and being fewer is, I, I can't ever, I can't think of a single case when that's the answer. And so reach out to each other. I'm so happy to be a part of Solve and, and the work that you do here because I'm probably, I think I'm preaching to the choir, but it's it's wonderful stuff you do here at Solve, and I'm excited to see what happens because we all know that exciting things will come. Yes, they will. Thank you, Katie, to the moon and back for sharing <laughs> your story, uh, for connecting it to our story and to this moment that we are all in. Uh, Matthew, on to you. Yeah, there are 